Okay. Oh, muted. Okay. There. I think they can hear us now. It says can muted. you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Anybody? Hello? 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 Oh, Give me a thumbs up. Oh, oh there we are. Okay. So here, look at my bedroom. Everybody likes to see the house. So right there is my antique wash basin that my parents had with my great-grandmother's quilt. There's a picture I got for $8 at the Goodwill thrift store that I loved. Not Goodwill, but the Habitat. Okay, there's another picture I got. Here is my buffet I got for $5. There's my secretary that I grew up with and my hall tree. There's my lovely daughter hiding. Do you want me to unplug it so you can take it outside? So that... Oops. And then... Hold on. Don't change it to any other screen or it might stop the okay. screen. And here is... Oh, it got messed up. We were rolling around on it. So... Oh, that didn't sound good. Uh, <laughs> there's my headboard. That's Mom's antique. It's pretty cool. There. Now you can see it. You guys like it? Okay. And our bed got all messed up. So... What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? All right. Okay. YouTube's on too. So we're testing on a hot spot for YouTube and Facebook. I need my little holdy thing. I don't have a holdy thing. We can add that later. And Karen loves the headboard. We are. Oh, thank you, Karen. We are going to Cheyenne in about an hour to the Justin Rhodes meetup. I'm so excited. And we're gonna try and stream live from there for our show tonight. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I just love watching Justin and Rebecca going all over the place. I think we should get a bus deer, what do you think? <laughs> Maybe Justin would let us As long as I don't rent. have to maintain it. <laughs> Maybe we could rent Justin's bus and then take our own trip for a year. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to be the maintenance guy. <laughs> we can hire a driver and a maintenance person. Okay, so um, How, roll so on we're it. We're looking. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're doing a test because we're going to the Justin Rhodes meetup in Wyoming, and we're leaving in a little while. Uh, the meetup's not till four Mountain, right? Yeah. But we um, we were going to try to go live during the regular show time while we're there. But we're testing to make sure that the equipment actually works so that we have some reason to believe that we might be able to do this. <laughs> so. Okay, guys, tell Mike it's okay. Everyone tell Mike it's okay. He's been very stressing about this. He gets very stressed when the show doesn't so go right. So I stress when we do something new that requires a lot of technical stuff, and I'm not sure how to make it happen. <laughs> so tell him so. it's okay, guys. See, look at all the thumbs up. Everybody's telling you it's okay. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Tell him the world's not going to end if our live show doesn't go live. Hey, Steals, Deals, and Meals. Uh, this is not our normal show. This is just a test of technical equipment. Tonight at 4.30 Mountain, we're going to be live with Justin Rhodes. We are testing right now it will because... Be fine. It's okay. Don't stress. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. He's been it's driving my me Achilles. crazy. It's my Achilles heel. He always gets stressed with the shows. Like every show, I need to record. Well, I only get stressed on the technical parts, and usually the parts that I haven't ever done before. Every show, he's like, I got so much to do. I don't know how we're going to get the show on. I'm like, I haven't get done this? that in a long time. You did that Monday. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I didn't. David? No, the stress there was I had 14 hours worth of stuff to do in two hours. He was still stressed out. Hello. Yay, it's looking good. Turn my glide. Love the furniture. Okay, were you going to take this outside and check it out? Okay, so you're the deal breaker. <laughs> was me. was Dad stressed for Monday's show? He says he was not stressed on Monday's show. I think he kind of was. No, I said it wasn't technology stressed. I said it was just because I had more stuff to do than the time. Well, yeah, it wasn't. So you're making all those pictures and graphics and things well, that... I mean, I can see a why. I mean, yeah, thank you, you like... Allison. Totally, God has it. You're right. Yeah. Here, so I'm gonna wander around hey. just a little bit and show you guys. So my house isn't like Wait, is spotless, this on but and YouTube. 
Hello. This is totally wide open. No cleaning, no. So here is my, we got this mirror here for is this blow out the $10 shot? and I painted is it blown out now? the edges. Okay, it was old from the 70s because it matches my curtains. There's my and curtains. And you can make it like Illuminati confirmed and yep. all crazy. See there, all the crazy. Here's my, I got this for a dollar. Isn't that cute at a garage sale? Should I go get my iPad and show them? And then I need a TP like storage so I put shelves behind the toilet and a little bookshelf right there. These I had growing up. They were in mom's house growing up. So that's my bathroom. Okay, so let's see. What else do you guys want to see of my house? Hold on, let's see. What do we got? Okay, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. It's from 1919 right there. We got Almost this at school. Dave hmm. got his iPad for school. Now, how do you feel about that? Awesome, because I can play puzzle games and stuff. <laughs> I can play. Mom is not a happy camper. <laughs> iPads are required for school, and mom is not happy. Eh, excuse me. Not happy. Okay, so here's my living room. Let's see. Here's the roll-top desk right here. Or not the roll-top desk. This is the roll cabinet for piano rolls. And there's my children from four years ago. Weren't they cute? And here's my player piano. My parents made this player piano, actually. They used to own a player piano business. My picture of Rocky Mountain National Park right there. This lamp is like 100 years old. These are new, but this is like 100 years old. There's the daughter. Say hello. Here is our living room wall. I got this door out of the dumpster one day. It was so great. And there's our picture. There's my chair I'm always sitting in with my gnome. Thank you, guys. Okay. He says it's a husband thing. I think stressing over text. I guess it's a husband thing. Here's the picture Mom got me for my birthday that I love. Beers, BJ, running through. Here's our sign to remember us as we go out the door. Remember, as far as everyone knows, we're a nice, normal family. And then this one says... If God is for us, who can be against us? <laughs> What's going to happen in the world with Tara unplugged? <laughs> unplugged and live. Oh, no. There's my door knocker. You see what it is? A little watering can. Isn't that cute? Okay. Here is a little mirror. Here is our coat rack. So we have all of our pictures from when we're six months old. Mike, me, BJ, Emily, Ellie. David and Jack. We had to move Jack down here because Emily moved in so we had to make space for her and we had to move Jack down anyway because it was too high for him. So I made this for, uh, let's see, the boards were free. These things were like a dollar and these things were like two dollars. So what, two, four, six, eight, ten. So less than fifteen dollars I made it. There's my new purse I got for my birthday. Isn't that cute? Okay, so you guys wanted to see my flower garden. So I will show you my flower garden, okay? So here's the coleus that everyone keeps asking about. So we're doing a test in case you're just joining us because we're going live at the Justin Rhodes meetup in Cheyenne. If you guys are in Wyoming or northern Colorado, come up and see us in Justin. It'll be great. Here's my creeping we'll time. We're broadcasting at the regular show time. Yeah, we're broadcasting at 4.30 tonight from the show. Okay, so here is this garden bed. I just cleaned everything out. I just cleaned it all out. So I don't have much left here. But look at my hydrangea. Is it not getting so party? Oh. oh. So Sheila said being perfectionist just gives you stress and high blood pressure. I've recovered mostly. It's just in this kind of realm where I... He has done a lot better than when we were first married, but it still drives me nuts. I have to admit... It gets me sometimes. I try to let it... So here's my front flower garden. And we're running a test right now, guys, so I'm just showing you my house. Here's my front flower garden. Aren't those pretty? Okay. We're running a test to see if we can do this mobily. We're totally off the house internet, just running off a hot spot. Oh, 
aren't those gorgeous? Those are my echinacea I got last year. They were 75 cents each and I got, I think, 30 or 40 of them all together. Aren't they beautiful? I know, I was so happy. I was so excited. You should have seen all the flowers I got. Okay, so here's, oh, where did Mike go? He disappeared. So here's my front porch. So here's the chair. She walk in. Okay, so these are fake. I admit it. I'm sorry. I couldn't get drip irrigation over here. Pain in the rear. Okay, so here's my front porch. There's my old door. I think I'm going to paint that in a week or two. I know what color I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it pink. And you know what? I am not a pink person. It's really funny. Okay, so here's my front porch. This chair right here was my grandmother's chair. My great-grandmother and my great-grandfather's chair from the 50s that they bought it originally. And when they died, I asked for that. Oh, my flowers are kind of disheveled. Pretty, pretty, you have such a green thumb. Okay, now these are fake because I can't water up here. Here's some of my little gnomies. Some of my little gnomies. My homie gnomies. Yeah, you survived the Kalia survived. Aren't they pretty so you can see it from this direction? There it is. There it is. Okay, so here's my front porch. Love the little metal cans with flowers. Thank you guys. There's my wreath. Okay, so this is my favorite saying. I think that's so funny. Does anybody like that? I love it. I think it's hilarious. There's more gnomies protecting the front door. <laughs> more gnomies. Ellie got me this one for Mother's Day. My friend got me this one, Little Miss Happy Plants. And then right here we have our favorite clock. It says Grand Central Terminal because our house is always like Grand Central Station. So. Okay, let's try again. So I'm going to have to point this for Tara because oh, she accidentally dear. touched. That's the problem with having a touch screen device for Can you this. hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, you almost got a boob shot there. Thanks, dear. You're the one shooting. <laughs> me. Okay, now we're back. So what happened with the sound was Tara's the holding the iPad. <laughs> that we use for remote broadcasts, and she accidentally, her, her thumb kind of wrapped around it and touched the mute yes. button. Sorry. So we're going to have to figure out, this is our kind of rough draft, just making sure we can actually get on the air. This is really hard to do with fibromyalgia to hold my arm up. And then I'll have to, I'll probably be holding it during the thing, but we're not quite sure how we're going to do comments. <laughs> but maybe yeah. Dave can do comments. I don't know how we're going to do this. So anyway. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. I don't know. So anyway. Okay, cool. so how's YouTube? Let's check YouTube before we go. You guys still So are YouTube? there any questions Yay, you guys want to know from Justin Rhodes? Because we're going to do a little thing with him. Uh, oh, Catherine. Yes, I think she did. Ellie? We were gone and we dropped it. Ellie, did you get a package from Catherine? Did you open it, the package? Oh, yes. Are you on? She's on. Yes. What did you I get? I actually started to vlog about it, and then I didn't finish the vlog. Uh-oh. But, uh, yes, thank you. I was just surprised that someone actually found one at the wallet, because I looked so long. You got a backpack? Oh, yeah, you didn't see it? I didn't oh, yeah. see it. We were gone. Ah! How exciting. Hold on. Hold on, she's well, going to go get it. 
Say hi, BJ. We're over here brainstorming the technical issues. <laughs> I'm asking my advisor for advice. I assume they don't want to see my, my advisor who has more tech knowledge than me. So anyway, yay. Okay, so hold Beautiful on. Ellie's coming. <gasps> um, oh, how adorable. Cool. Catherine sent you that? Yeah. <gasps> oh, Catherine, how nice. And it has the wallet on the back. <gasps> Because I could not find one anywhere. No, we couldn't. We looked everywhere. So, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it definitely made my whole day. Ah. And yeah, because you guys were gone. Well, we went to leave, and we got the package, and I, we turned around and dropped it off at the house and then left to go camping. So, oh, oh, oh. that's... Well, hey, Catherine, hey. that was so and thoughtful. Was Thank you. So here's the rest of my kitchen so, up there is all the antiques from my great-grandmothers so and my grandmas. Tam was still and talking about the, uh, the iPad thing with Dave. She was talking about homeschool. <laughs> I know. I want to homeschool, but I just don't have the umption. I can't even keep up with what I'm doing now. Did you, did you mute the sound again? Did I? I just said no sound. Wait, where'd the sound thing go? Uh, no. Hold on, guys. You made the sound window go completely away. Okay, uh, BJ, hold that for Dad. Wait, Lynn says sound's back. Okay. okay. I know what's going on. If you guys are getting sound, can hey. you just give us the thumbs up? Hold on. So when you're holding uh -huh. it, or something, uh -huh. don't cover the hole. Oh! So that's why I need a stick thing. Where we, got, where we have the stick thing, we'll try that. Okay. Hold on, BJ's going to set me up, guys, just a minute. Sorry, don't mean to make so you sick. We need to find so hold it from the back. Oops. Hand over the camera. <laughs> You're getting lots of thumbs up. BJ, close okay. up. Oh. BJ, extreme close up. Say hello, BJ. Selfie. Okay, so here is... Tara needs a tape spot on the button. <laughs> so here's my great-grandmother's and my grandmother's old stuff I put up here if you guys want to see. These are all my great-grandmas and my grandmas. And of course, we have more gnomes, because you can't live without gnomes. And believe it or not, the gnomes you guys saw is like a tenth, of maybe even a fifth of what I have. I had to pack up a whole bunch because I thought we were moving, so anyway. Okay, so... <laughs> How are we looking here? We're on. All right, we're doing good. Yeah. Tara, you have a beautiful home Thank you, garden. Pam. I'm glad you like my house and garden. Yeah, I would like to homeschool. It's fat fingering <laughs> I would like to homeschool because the whole iPad thing and the whole what was that class he's got to take now that really irritates me? And you? Some kind of sensitivity class or sensitivity something. Sensitivity class. You know, we don't need sensitivity classes. <laughs> we just need to be nice to each other. Everyone, the whole just be nice. It. Treat each other like Wait, you would be treated. That's at, all you need. At the high school? Yes. There's, there's sensitivity classes? Well, yes. they, don't, they don't call it that. They call it something else. And they just... Political correctness tells you? Well, hopefully not. <laughs> but that... It was... They were talking about... They just kind of hang out and chit chat and do little skits and things like that. And oh my goodness. There's the wall behind Ellie, Crystal. Can you see it? Here, one more time. This is my wall here. Right there. I got this at a garage sale for $2, this at a garage sale for $4, this at Hobby Lobby, this I dumpster dived and then painted. And then thankfully it had five spots for all five kids. And here is my pillows that I made to go with my curtains. Can you guys see my curtains? I made those curtains. Aren't they cute? There you go. Where's noise coming from? Oh, there. It's okay. There's curtains right there. Aren't those cute? So, anyway. Okay, so how did we do? I think all right. Is that did that slide by itself? It's sliding out of there. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, oh dear. Be careful of that. Uh, sorry, you don't have to do anything right now. So, hi Ellie. Where's Jack? Jack. Jack! Oh, 
Oh, and look here. Okay, so you guys didn't see my wall of pictures. So I took the kids' pictures and I hung a ribbon right here. Hung a ribbon with some mini clothespins I found at Hobby Lobby. And look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, a lot of people were saying Dave is old enough to do the lessons by himself. Yeah, Isn't that we, cute? he would do okay. It's just, he has a ton of friends, really good friends that we like at this school. Yeah, Dave oh, actually going to going to this has some really good friends that... Bye! Um, some really good friends. Hold on, sorry, BJ. So down there, I forgot to show you. See, down there is my old window. Isn't that cute? I made a mirror out of it. Um, so Dave has some really good friends at school now. And so... We hate to take him out right now. We did that with BJ and it ended up being a nightmare. I don't think Dave would be as bad. But, um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I go back and forth with homeschooling. There's a lot but, of positive stuff about this school. There's just a few negatives that we want to keep an eye on. Because yeah. we've had trouble with schools in the past and this is a new, a new to us school. So, But it seems... Yeah. Having been there quite a few times, and I've kind of interviewed a lot of the students. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, um, Kelly, they want the kids to become snowflakes, and we're like, no, uh, uh And you know, our kids do really good, actually. And I'm not anti. Oh, brother, how do we get on this now? We gotta leave in 30 minutes here. But let me just say, well, we may need to do a little more testing too before we go. So I'm not anti kids going to school because my kids have actually done a lot of good things at school. And they've even pounded a few kids and put them back in their place. One time this kid was harassing BJ and BJ knocked him down and said, you stop that. And the kids started straightening up. And so I think that the kids have always really done well in school, like with the whole alien things, like last year when the teacher told David that all our technology came from aliens. Yeah, remember that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Dave did really good, actually. He was very respectful to the teacher, but he did not agree with him. And so I'm not, there's got to be some parents in there standing up. But what really hacks me is why are all these parents saying it's okay to be giving iPads? It's not. I don't agree with it. And so there's going to be a lot of restrictions. So anyway, that's my two cents on that. Especially but, family for the slap the table, girl. Get it together, people! <laughs> I had nothing to slap in yesterday's post office video. It was kind of anticlimactic there. Well, it's funny. I don't know if you can opt out of that or not. I don't think you can. But there was, well, there was one thing that was saying it's state law. You're required to have them give your con the contact information of your kid to the military recruiters. And it said, do you consent? And I'm like, no. <laughs> because it's not that I, I don't mind people joining the military, but I don't want the recruiters to be squeezing him all mm -hmm. through his school life if he doesn't want to do yeah. it. Uh, Turid, it is 11.20 in the afternoon here. Or, no, in the morning here. Laura, what is the outcome of BJ's health? BJ, would you like to discuss that so you're not just being talked about? Um, well, at the moment, I feel a lot worse. But overall, I've been doing somewhat better. So, he's been exercising, getting his strength up sleeping more but you're not feeling better well and then i got that thing removed and i'm not allowed to exercise now yeah he had a so. really bad cyst thing on his chest so he can't exercise but he's still not looking any good no offense well, son but well i was thinking at work yesterday i was seriously considering just being like okay i, I want to go home and just go to bed <laughs> but um yeah, they ended up cutting me short at 15 minutes. <laughs> so he didn't have to call in sick oh, yesterday. That's why you came in. So, yeah. That's why you came home. Okay, that makes sense. So, he's not really feeling better. He's doing everything the doctors have said. It's been two months now. Can you believe it's been two months? I was feeling better until I stopped exercising. So, maybe the exercising is helping with something. But we're going to go get it checked out and see if it's. If I'm allowed to get it wet and if I'm allowed to stretch more than this. Okay. He had on his chest, he had a, a, a thing he had to have removed on his chest that we've been fighting for about a year and a half. I would show it, but it's kind of gross. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ooh, we should show my back. No. 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 Here. Here. no, no skin. No. Nobody wants skin. This isn't the skin show. So I had this cupping. This isn't the beef show. <laughs> I had oh, cupping oh. done on my back yesterday. I went and had a massage to get myself loosened up. And they did the cupping, if you she guys ever like know. It's like that Star Trek episode where they got the sucker thing on their hands and leave marks all over you. I told the kids to play connect the dots on my back. <laughs> there are these like two inch diameter circles all over her back. <laughs> so, I think oh, we should show it. says they have sun first time this month. Wow. Ooh, wow. Thank you, Brooke. Brooke said just ordered the book. All right, guys. Well, I will... Sorry, BJ, you don't feel good, Kathy said. Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's all the kids on all their technology. I'm not on anything. Uh, doing a good thing. There's a no one, that's a no on the back showing, says Leona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who plays the piano? Well, now no one does. Um, Ellie and David used to play the piano. At this point again, though. Ellie and David used to play the piano. Ellie was very good at it, actually. Tori says I was so. Tori says I was horribly bullied throughout public school. I love the homeschool idea. Yeah, with the public school, one thing we've been really active in the public school, and if the kids tell us something, we kind of monitor it if it's minor. But if it seems major, I go right in there. <laughs> well, we had a teacher bullying David we had a teacher at school. Bullying David last year, and I, I and we I, yanked him out. Well, first I went and talked to the teacher because the principal wouldn't talk to us till the following week, and. So the principal wasn't present, and I told the teacher, this will not happen again. And then he told the, the principal, because I said that, that he was afraid for his life and thought I was going to come and do something to him. <laughs> so then we just yanked David out of that school completely. And it's not the first time we've done that for that kind of a reason, but this teacher was yelling at him and calling him stupid and group punishing everybody. And I, I said, that's absolutely unacceptable. We won't put up with that at all, so... This school, I think, seems more mellow, at least from what I've gathered. But Dave will definitely let us know if something major happens. Yeah. So we're and, cautiously and we optimistic. have homeschooled. We homeschooled BJ and Ellie for. We homeschooled BJ and Ellie for a year and a half. <laughs> and <laughs> how did that go, BJ? <laughs> the homeschool. Yeah, BJ hated it. Ellie got two years of school done in one year. BJ hated it. But we did, to BJ's defense, it was all reading. And we found out in 11th grade, after I'd been complaining and complaining to teachers for years and years, that he had a reading comprehension problem. So we were forcing him to do all this reading. And he wasn't comprehending any of it. So if we would have known, we would have changed what we were doing. And the kid, you were pretty smart. He made his whole room off grid during that time. <laughs> And won the science fair. He was doing really bad in school, but he was building off-grid systems and doing <laughs> computer hacking and all kinds of stuff. He couldn't oh. tell you. He couldn't tell you what the Civil War was about, but he could go and oh my goodness. So, uh, well, I mean, at the time we were talking about it at the time. I mean, but so Jeannie was asking, "What are you testing?" We're testing. Uh, we're, we're going to a Justin Rose meetup in Cheyenne, Wyoming, which is like hour and a half to two hours from here and we're going to try to do this show today from there so we're testing the tech to make sure it doesn't completely fail <laughs> so we have some idea how to do it 30 minutes now so i think uh, we've been on long enough to check okay. um lynn wants to know did the cupping help yeah actually i think it really did help my back looks like an octopus tried to attack me but <laughs> it it helped actually it did help with the pain so uh whoops sorry um patricia says hey please give me homesteading page yeah if you're talking about the Homestead Network page? Maybe. It's I the... I would be thehomesteadnetwork.com. Yeah. We're a bunch of YouTubers that have gotten together. And even though we don't homestead, we kind of do a lot of homesteady things Most with cooking. Most of the people and... on there do, like, lots yeah. of homesteading, raising chickens and mm -hmm. cows and all kinds of living off-grid and everything. And we've done lots of that over our lives. But right now, we're at a point where we can't do that, so... Um, and... Jennifer asked if BJ is giving blood for the hemochromatosis. They discovered he did not have hemochromatosis, so they're not doing that. He also did not have Lyme, which was another thing the same doctor had indicated. Pretty so much, then we went to Mayo Clinic, and they it was a sleep issue. Pretty much every diagnosis so far, with the exception of the sleep issue, was a misdiagnosis, and some of them borderline scammy, I think. 
But the problem is he's not feeling better. He's been doing this for two months, and he's not feeling better. So. Oh, the doctor where they had the weird lab, I don't know. I don't think that was necessarily the doctor's fault. I think they just sent it to a lab that's kind of scammy. Yeah. All right, guys. Is that all the questions? We need to get ready and get going. Um, We're going to Cheyenne to see Justin yes, Rhodes. Yes, I'm going to need to do a little more testing, but yes. BJ's helping me. I can't hold my arm up this high for that long. All right. Well, All right. maybe I can do that part when we You get ready? There. Okay. I think so. Hello. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Visit us at livingonadime.com, and we'll be on at 4.30 tonight, we hope. Now I'm curious we to hope. see if this is going to... Oh. Okay. Bye, everyone. Now let's see. I'm going to try a test here, which I think is...